Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Beneath Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today I wanted to discuss the addition of the ICF wall which has been recently added to the Medique wall plugin. So to begin with let's just go ahead and get started with drawing some walls. So I'm going to lay down a grid and go start there and then go ahead and just use the regular rectangular wall. So when you first load this um, by default usually it's going to be uh, the wall frame will be set to yes. So this is where you set to ICF. So right here we're going to change this to ICF. Okay, and then when we do that, uh, and make sure you always hit update when you make your changes. Um, once we do that, you're going to notice this little box pop up. And you have your default exterior insulation thickness and your default interior uh, insulation thickness. And typically I think these are, you know, usually the same depth, but you can independently adjust them to whatever you want. Some people set them to two and a half. Some people set them to like two and five eighths, so like two point six two five, which is probably a little more accurate. But the main thing I think you need to understand is that okay, so when I change the ICF, notice that the stud wall depth or the wall depth has not changed. Um, so you know your your overall wall depth is five and a half inches, which of course is not going to be right for an ICF wall. So you're going to want to change that to probably like twelve inches, which is pretty typical. Uh, and then that'll give you like a six inch or seven inch uh, concrete core. So I think we're good to go there. We've got the stud wall or wall depth, sorry, set at 12 inches. Uh, you can safely ignore the stud width. Um, and you've got your ICF EPS as the typical insulation, but you can change uh, that to some custom material that you set up as an insulation material in the custom material library. So. I think we're probably good. Let's go ahead and just draw a few walls here now. Let's see what we get. So notice how the wall uh, preview is quite a thicker because it is a 12 inch wall. And you can see as I'm drawing these walls that unlike the regular wall framed walls where they have lapping and uh, inside and outside corners, the uh, ICF is drawn a little simpler. Um, basically I'm just mitering the corners uh, with these wall panels because in reality um, you know you end up with a continuous wall of concrete and I, I mean usually have these kind of corner blocks so with the ICF feature I'm not really getting into all the separate blocks or anything fancy like that I'm just basically modeling uh, each wall panel and it's one big chunk of concrete and one big chunk of foam on the inside and one chunk of foam on the outside so really we've turned the wall into three solids, okay? And notice I have the plan dimension turned on from the previous video I made today, but you can turn that off, of course, in the global settings. So let me show you, before we go ahead and throw some windows and doors into this, what um, where you can set the default. So under the insulation tab of the general, uh, of the global settings, you'll notice here that you have your ICF options, so you can you can set these defaults to whatever you like here, and then every time you load that tool, it's gonna or the wall to draw ICF, it will pull from this. But uh, I'm just gonna leave that for now. Uh, real quickly, then let's just throw in a window and a door. You can notice how deep the wall is and how deeply inset the windows and doors are, which is pretty typical for ICF construction. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, there's no reason why you can't mix uh, constructions. Like if you have interior walls, you're probably going to have those wood frame normally, you know, two by four construction. And you might have all your exterior walls like with this ICF construction. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's, we have it basically enabled for uh, gable walls as well and all the other variants, hip walls, uh, shed walls. I'm not... Um, uh, I still might have a little more to do with regards to corner treatment for, for the those other more exotic walls, but at least for rectangular walls, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, it's just mitering uh, the connections, and um, and it's just providing... I guess what I'm trying to say is at least you have the, the general volume, which I will need to add into the estimating uh, uh, module so that you can generate the uh, volume of concrete, uh, because that's probably what's going to be important for an ICF wall is knowing that cubic yards of concrete that you're putting in that wall for estimating purposes. So 
anyways, um, pretty basic feature really when you break it down, but uh, just yet another framing option really for your uh, for your exterior walls. Um, some people have been asking me quite a bit for this, and I guess uh, ICF walls are gaining in popularity. So I thought, well, let's just go ahead and add something at least. Um, yeah, I mean, at some point maybe it might be interesting to have it like really break this down into separate bricks and everything um, but I think it would make the model pretty heavy so I haven't really uh, got that far with it yet but at the very least like I said it's given you um, a representational uh, value as far as uh, what's happening with this ICF wall so all right well if you have any questions on this uh, give me a holler um, as always thank you guys for your support and um, looking forward uh, to talking with you some more all right bye